Hello all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In the last session, I have explained the maximum power transfer theorem in detail with the help of a suitable derivation. Uh, in this session, I am going to continue one more concept based on maximum power transfer theorem. The thing is, I want to prove that the circuit efficiency during maximum power transfer from source to load is only 50 percentage. This is one of the very important question for the university examination and uh, you can able to observe similar kind of questions in the competitive examination as well. First of all, you are supposed to recall what is a maximum power transfer theorem. So I will take you the basics of maximum power transfer theorem first, later we will solve this. Please recall the particular statement of maximum power, power transfer theorem. Uh, maximum power transfer theorem states that the DC voltage source will deliver maximum power to the load resistor only when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. That is a statement and uh, we have already proven this with the help of a simple DC circuit and uh, finally we could able to get the statement such as RL is equal to R0 where RL is the load resistor and R0 is the source resistor. And also by applying the same concept, we could able to compute what is the total amount of power which is transferred from a source to load based on the maximum power transfer theorem. That is P up. Maximum power is given by E0 square divided by 4L. Up to this we have already done. Now we have to move on the concept. Now let's prove the circuit efficiency during maximum power transfer from source to load is only 50%. Please do consider the circuit diagram. E0 is the voltage source and you can see the R0. R0 is the source resistor or source resistance and RL is the load resistance. IL is the current which is flowing through the load. And we are applying an EMF, a voltage source of E0. So please do understand this. And uh, here we are to apply, we are to calculate what is the total amount of uh, power which is generated and what is the total amount of power which is delivered or which is given to the load. Okay, so you need to calculate the efficiency by taking the ratio of the maximum power delivered to the load to the total amount of power which is generated that you are supposed to make out. Now let us practice this. Let us consider PS is the amount of power which is generated by the source. PS, okay. Remember this. Now what is what is power? Power means I square R. So here you can see in the circuit diagram there are two resistors R0 and RL. Now tell me how to calculate PS. So PS is nothing but IL square into R0. Correct. And uh, other load side it will be IL square into RL. You know that it is a series circuit right. R0 and RL both are in series. Therefore same current flows to R0 and RL. The current which is flowing through R0 and RL is IL. Therefore, IL square into R0 plus RL. So, because we are going to consider the series circuit, please do apply the maximum power transfer theorem condition. What is the condition for maximum power transfer theorem? RL will be equal to R0. Load resistor will be equal to source resistor. Correct? So, if I apply, then what I will get? So, R0 and RL both are equal now. Therefore, I will be writing in terms of RL. Then, PS will be equal to IL square into 2RL. Right? Then, uh, 2, I will be writing as my convenience, I am going to write 2 first, 2 IL square into RL, yes, so this is actually the PS. Now do one thing, I can modify the equation of PS in this fashion, please do apply the Ohm's law, how to calculate IL here, consider the circuit, IL means uh, E0 divided by R0 plus RL, am I right or not, so we already show, shown in the last session, so now do one thing. Write the equation for IL. IL is nothing but E0 divided by R0 plus RL. Please do write in terms of RL. So, by applying the maximum power transfer theorem, I can able to write R0 will be equal to RL. Therefore, IL will be equal to E0 divided by 2RL. I think you got, got, got the points. So, RL will be equal to R0. Therefore, IL will become E0 divided by 2RL. Afterwards, what you can do is, please recall the equation of PS. PS is nothing but 2 IL square RL, right? So instead of IL, you can able to substitute E0 divided by 2R. So 2 into E0 divided by RL, the whole square into RL. By simplifying, what you will get? Please do simplify first. So if you simplify, so 
so here uh, what i can say rl and rs that is going to cancel at once right so please take it once everybody so 2 into e not square divided by 2 rl whole square means 4 rl square here rl will be there right then what what happens so please to simplify so rl is going to cancel at once therefore ultimate answer is 2 e not square divided by 4 rl again i can simplify now so 2 two times so ultimately ps is equal to how much i'll get ps is equal to e not square divided by 2 rl please call this equation as number 1 so this is actually the total amount of power which is generated now you already proven that you already derived the expression that maximum power transferred from source to load is given by pm is equal to e not square divided by 4 rl if you want to go to uh, go through the proof please refer my previous video it's available in both the i button as well as the description box go through that watch once then come back so i have already proven it yesterday i have shown you in a simple method pm is equal to e not square divided by 4 rl now please tell me how to calculate efficiency efficiency will be output power divided by input power right therefore how what is output power pm is the output power and ps is the input power so take the ratio of both output power divided by input power that should be multiplied with 100 because efficiency will be expressed in terms of percentage right yeah so if pm means e not square divided by 4 rl absolutely right then ps will be equal to e not square divided by 2 rl can you simplify so please multiply with the reciprocal therefore e not square divided by 4 rl into 2 rl divided by e not square into 100% 100 to get the percentage therefore by simplifying so please do simplify it just for your verification because exam and all you should not get confused so 2 right then here e not square will be getting cancelled am i right or not so 1 by 2 into 100 so 1 by 2 into 100 what is 1 by 2 into 100 1 by 2 into 100 means what 0.5 into 100 right 0.5 into 100 obviously the answer is 50% you can expect this kind of questions in the gate examination and also those who are preparing for university examination uh, they may ask in a descriptive type questions so prove that the maximum during the maximum power transfer the efficiency is considered as 50 percentage so likewise some kind of questions uh, can be expected in the forthcoming examination so i try to make it simple and uh, everybody please go through this and uh, please do let me know if any suggestions i need your suggestions for the improvement okay in case any doubts you can put up in the comment box i'm very happy to answer whenever i'm available definitely i will revert anyway thank you for your support and if you require the same notes i'll make a, i'll put in the separate link you can access that i'll upload in the drive so that you can able to access okay so uh, make it uh, at least if you practice once or twice definitely you can able to manage it okay so uh, please go through once again uh, definitely at least if you practice twice definitely you can able to answer well in the examination happy happy learning have a good day